Hi, so I wanted a simple high voltage supply. Um, originally I tried to make a Van de Graaff machine, but unfortunately the humidity here in Minera is so high that I couldn't get it to work. Um, and I have another video on this uh, which shows the effect of humidity, high humidity on static electricity. So I decided to go with one of these mosquito zapper racket things. Um, this was very cheap, around 200 peso on sale, and it's rechargeable. It's got a small battery inside. You plug it into the mains and it charges it. It's got an on off switch, and then a button that when you hold down the button, it's armed. So if I test this, you see like that. Now, uh, I'll just open it out for you. Let me just make sure it's, there you go. Let me open this up. Now inside you'll see the battery, um, and I won't remove this circuit board just yet, uh, but you'll see, hopefully, you can see some large capacitors in there, um, and of course the transformer, and the transformer is the key here, that's what's stepping up our small voltage here, which is probably, I don't know, maybe 3 volts, something like that, um, or 6 volts, and it's stepping it up to, at the moment I don't know, but I would estimate around maybe thousand volts three thousand volts something like that not extremely high high enough to zap a mosquito but it won't be that high um, now a lot of people for this kind of project would actually take apart a disposable camera and use the flash circuit that works fine um, but this is so cheap and so easy to modify um, and to use that it's just not worth bothering with the camera circuits now what I might do is I might actually keep this handle part uh, and chop it off here because there's no benefit to me taking this out and making my own case for it. It's already quite a good case. It's going to make sure that no one accidentally gets zapped by touching the transformer or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when I've made some progress. Hi. So we just finished my build. Um, unfortunately I had to remove the battery because the AC charging circuit inside here actually blew up. Um, I think the reason for that is that I had it uh, customised it so that it would always be on and at the time it sparked while it was charging uh, and I think I didn't like that. So I've now got it hooked up to a 5 volt power source um, and I'll turn it on and you'll see the light comes on and we'll test it out just on this piece of metal. You can see it makes pretty big sparks, pretty loud. Um, one thing I did test is using this as a EMP device. So I made a coil of wire, I placed it over this, connected it to each terminal, and then uh, basically short circuited it so it put the pulse through here, made a magnetic field, um, and it actually fried my thermometer here. Uh, even if I remove the battery and put the battery back in, it doesn't work anymore. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that on camera. So I figured we can try with this uh, calculator instead. So uh, let me connect this up. Just make sure this is dead. So I've got one terminal going to one part of the coil, which is permanently connected, and then the other one I'll just touch against it. So let's get our calculator, and I'll just put in a bunch of nines. So you can see that there. Place the coil over the top, turn on the device. <laughs> just make sure this is dead. Okay, so it actually just reset it to zero, so it just restarted the calculator, uh, but everything else still works. So let's try that again. For the thermometer, it really has killed it. You know, it will not turn on. Um, remove the battery, put the battery back in. It's a brand new battery, by the way just will not turn on anymore since it received its EMP pulse or EMP. So we've got the numbers on there now. Let's try that again. Oops. Okay, that time it's put a bunch of different numbers on there and it's displayed an E for error. Let's see if we can reset that. Yeah, so although it is messing with the calculator, it's not killing it completely. So let's, uh, let's put in five, 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 bunch of fives. Let's try one last time. Make sure this is safe. Okay, put the coil over the calculator. Put it on the back of the calculator this time, see if it makes a difference. Turn on the device. Okay, make sure it's safe. Let's check the calculator. That time it did nothing at all. Let's try it back on the front again. 
Okay, turn it off for a second, make sure it's safe. I, uh, I had it sitting on the, the metal shield here, so it was obviously shocking. Right, let's try again. Okay, make sure it's safe. So it's just reset it to zero. So it's a fun little thing. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to try with this. It's very fun to work with these high voltages. And because it's a mosquito swatter, um, it doesn't really carry much current. So even if you did accidentally catch yourself, it's just going to hurt. It's not actually going to really do any damage. Now the capacitors inside here are rated at 400 volts. So that lets us know that this isn't going over 400 volts, um, which means it's not really that dangerous. It would hurt if you, you know, it, it would shock you, but it wouldn't actually cause any damage. Um, but for my high voltage experiments like EMP and other things I want to try, it's really perfect. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please give a like and subscribe.